Lemon orzo soup is one of my favorites and I can't wait to show you how I make it. I've got um, some oil heating in a pan and I need to put some, some kind of onion product in here. So today I'm gonna use, you could use a red onion, a white onion, today I've got some scallions. What I'm gonna do is just saute this. Just saute this till it uh, sweetens up and with any of, the, any of the onions as they cook, it pulls out the sweetness, tastes great. Then what we're gonna do is, I've got about six cups of chicken broth. I happen to make my own, but you could use a box type. And then um, I'll show you what happens next, but let me get this going and I'll be right back. You're gonna love this recipe. It's wonderful anytime, uh, but it's, it's especially great when somebody's not feeling well. I'll be right back. The onions are cooked. I added the broth in here. It's about five cups I got going. And while this is coming up to kind of a boil, this is where I wanted to show you, this is the real technique of the whole recipe. It's like all of these, it's pretty basic. I have one egg to which I'm gonna add about, I've got a quarter cup, but I'm gonna add an eighth of a cup of lemon juice here. I'm gonna mix that, and then I'm gonna slowly add some of this hot broth into the egg mixture while I am mixing it up. And that, what that's gonna do, that's called tempering the eggs. That makes the egg and lemon mixture the same temperature as the soup so that when you put it in there, it doesn't turn to scrambled eggs. This isn't like a, uh, an Asian egg drop soup. This is nice and smooth, and when it drops in, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It makes the broth really creamy, which is wonderful, and that's what we want. Creamy, lemony chicken soup. And then I'm going to put in a half a cup, about a half a cup of orzo, and just let that cook till it's done and our soup is ready. I know that I've been getting a lot of comments, wonderful comments from people who have tried the recipes that I've put up here. Great comments that, hey, this reminds me of how my grandmother cooked. I love it. I love all that, please keep it coming. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to this. This egg mixture feels really good. I end up putting in about a cup as I'm mixing this, a cup of the broth in with the eggs. Now what you do, while this is boiling, I get a whisk and I just start to create a little circle going. Slowly add these eggs in. And again, because I tempered it, it's gonna make a beautiful creamy soup. When I've made this and given it to folks, usually I make it if somebody's sick, tell you the truth, right? Italian penicillin or chicken soup. Um, they said, why is it so creamy? Did you add some kind of cream to it? Is there butter in there? And there's not, but I want you to see this. Look at how beautiful that is. That is exactly what you're looking for. I'm gonna bring this back up to a boil. It's almost there. Add in the orzo, cook it up. And then I will come back and show you how I put it all together. You're gonna love it. And it smells amazing in here. The soup is done. It is this beautiful, creamy, rich chicken soup. Look at that. That's exactly what you're looking for. So I wanna show you how all I do to plate it up. Put your soup in the bowl. And then I just top it with a couple of lemons. Just float it in there and there you have it. I hope you try this. Now, if you um, like this and you like these videos I'm doing, please share it and like it. If you want the recipe, I've been getting a lot of questions on where the recipes are. I created a YouTube channel because that's an easier place for me to um, upload them and for you to access them. So if you go to my um, site, that link will be there. Take care. Ciao for now.